Hello YouTube, my name is Nick Berlin. If you're watching this video, you've probably broken your air compressor, you probably have a Porter Cable 6 gallon unit, and your power switch just isn't going on. So, I've done this a couple times before. I actually just, I pretty much dropped this into the bed of my truck. I was trying to get out of a job site quickly, and as soon as I dropped it into the bed of my truck, I went, oh, that was a little too hard. And sure enough, I went to go and try and turn it on, and when I hit the power switch, nothing happens. So, I've had this happen a couple times before. What's happened is the, the wires inside of the unit are no longer connected to the motor. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take apart the shroud and get those wires reconnected so that way you can get your air compressor back up and running. So you're gonna be pulling out six different screws. So there's two right here, there's two on either side right here, and then there's two underneath. So one right here, and one right here, and then I actually lied, there's, there's seven screws. There's another one right here that you need to take out. Alright, so we've got a few screws that we need to take out. So I've got a T20 bit on here, it's not Phillips head. The first time I did this I was, I made it work with a Phillips head, not the easiest choice. So get a T20, it's going to make your life a lot easier. So I got one of them out and you can see right here, we've got, this is the T20, but it also has a flat head on it. And I've got one screw that I can't really reach with the screwdriver that I have. So I'm just gonna switch over to a flat head and get that out. All right, so now I'm gonna take the shroud off. So there's actually two clips right here. And as you're kind of pulling on that, just be aware of those. Sometimes they'll give you a little bit of grief. And then what I do is I just kind of wiggle and play with the unit until you can get it out. Now, underneath, right here, you've got this metal bar that's coming up. You have to pop it up above that, and now you can pull off this section of the housing. To get some better access in, what you can do is you can actually pull out this section of the motor. You can kind of slide it out in order to give yourself a better visual of the wiring inside. So here's a little bit closer of a look. We've got, this is your main power cord coming in. You can see where it splits off to your white wire and your black wire and your green. So the green is running off over here and it's grounded. So that's good. So you can see the white is supposed to be going right up in there. And that one looks like it's in place. And then you can see the black one starting there and it goes up into there. So you've got this red wire that goes back into the motor as well as the yellow wire. So what we need to do is just make sure all the connections on these are nice and tight. So for tightening them up, the, everything is in place, but in this time what's happened is it's just gotten loose so it doesn't have a good connection. So I've used a needle nose pliers or you can use a flathead screwdriver. You just need something that you can use to push the wire back into place. So in this case, for me, all of mine were still in place. They were just loose. I've opened this up before and they were just dangling off all over the place. So if that's the case, just be looking for those different spots that you saw earlier where those wires should be going. Now that we've got everything tightened up, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of piece the shroud back together gently. And then before I actually put all the screws in, I'm gonna turn it on and make sure it actually turns on. So I haven't screwed this all back together yet. I've just got it all kind of pieced together without putting the screws in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it before I put all the screws in and realize I did something wrong and have to undo it all again. So here we go. Obviously it works now. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, I love my Porter Cable. This thing's awesome. It's great for all the finished carpentry stuff that I end up doing. But this is one little quirk that I just keep having to fix on it. Throw me a comment if you've got any other questions or uh, actually don't ask any questions because I pretty much just showed you everything that I know on how to fix this. You got other questions on how to fix it? I don't know. This is how I fix mine and it seems to work. But 
If you have any other questions, I'm happy to try and answer them for you. Also, feel free to throw out a like, and if you like the content that you're seeing and you've seen some of my other videos, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.